Hello there and welcome to Showbiz News. My name is Kennedy Isiao. Now, this morning, President Magufuli got stuck in traffic on his maiden visit to Kenya. President Magufuli, who is said to be in the country for two days, shocked many Kenyans when he walked from Intercontinental Hotel to the Jomo Kenyatta Mausoleum. On to our last news, the oldest woman, Emma Morano, who will turn 117 years on November 27th, has finally cracked the secret on her longevity. She claims that she has been eating at least two eggs every day for 90 years. Initially, she used to consume two raw eggs and a cooked one each day. And on that story about Emma's food secret for living long, it's where we close this showbiz news. But coming up next is a food episode on Abenia. Is your school represented at Daystar University? Hi guys! Turkish International School Nairobi represents your school at Daystar University. Hello there and welcome to today's episode where it's all about food, where we'll be looking at technological advancements in the food industry, eating out places and so much more. My name is Kennedy Xiao and this is Abenia. Well, I get to know about different restaurants through food and travel blogs. I go online then look at the blogs, uh, the food and travel bloggers in Kenya. Then I look at the restaurants, their profile, then I will go online again to the website of the restaurant, then look at the menu, look at their services, and also look at the reviews that other people have. Uh, my favorite restaurant is Abanitaris in Westlands. I love their food, it's really good, it's affordable, and it's a very fancy restaurant. Nairobi, I like the Manhattan Hotel. But at the same time, I really love Manhattan, because it's special, they have good coffee and good food. You always find space and you find like, it's not full, so you can be comfortable and eat, and everything is just good, and it's affordable too. Basically here, the Mana 540, we have a signature dish here. This is called fish. Eh? And the fish we do here is Nile Park. And it's a charcoal grill fish. And uh, that's our main thing. Eh? That's most people in Nairobi and from all over the world. Eh? We've hosted people from different areas. Eh? Uh, people with different values, including the world world dignitaries. Eh? Yeah? So the people we do, they are like, well, well, known, we are known for fish. Eh? That's Nile Park, charcoal grill. Our biggest uh, uh, marketing tool is word of mouth. If you come to visit the manor, you like what you experience with the manor. Our biggest marketing tool is word of the mouth. The only line maybe I know we are trying to get into the social media, yeah? Where we have a Facebook page, the manor 540, and also like, uh, you can also get uh, an email recommendation from TripAdvisor. Basically, those are the two social media which work. Well, there you've had it. If you're a fish lover, then the Mana 540 is the place to be. Don't go far away, Abenia will be right back. This afternoon, we'll be making chutney. What's chutney? Chutney is a sauce or a dip that is of the Orient, that is the Indian Orient, all right? So chutneys are of different kinds. There's about 10 or more chutneys. But today we're going to be making mango chutney. First ingredient is mango. The other is lemon. We will need the rind of the lemon. We need a knife 
to slice the mango so that we're ready to grate it more easily. We need sugar to balance the flavors. We need a touch of salt. We need obviously the grater to grate the lemon and mango. We have cooking oil, vinegar, a dash of it, one again to give it flavor and also for a longer shelf life. This city is full of so many restaurants. It's up to you to go out there and experiment. That's all I had for you on Abenia. Until next time, have a blessed day. <laughs>